Hey everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today I'm taking the driver's side power window out of the Buick. Um, it's not terribly hard. I found some documentation on it. Uh, problem was it would not go down. Uh, it was stuck in the up position and it, it used to go up and down. And then today it decided it was not gonna operate anymore. Um, but I got it out. I basically, I took the window off the window sash, which wasn't too bad. And I was able to pull the window sash aside to get the trim off. And then I unbolted the mechanism and I was able to pull it out and then work it out through this hole with the motor assembled. You're supposed to be able to lower it. It gets, gets it out a little easier, but it's out. And uh, I did the rear window successfully. And this is a similar setup, right? So you got the power window motor, you got the drive gear that uh, on a spring, right? You want to be careful taking the motor off. You don't want that thing to go flying on you. Um, basically, the motor just bolts onto there. The pinion meshes with the drive. You don't have to time it or anything. There's no like up or down stop on these. It's not like the newer cars where they'll lose track of where they are. It just goes till it stops in both directions. So you don't have to worry about where in the motors travel it is in relation to the teeth, which makes it easy. I panicked before thinking, oh great, I messed everything up, but it's fine. Um, you'll notice here, there's a lot of grease, uh, dried out old grease. And I think that worked itself out of the motor. These are pretty simple, right? It grounds against the chassis and you got, uh, uh, terminal for each direction and it just reverses the uh, polarity of the motor um, and then this is just a seal that you work off oh yeah that's like completely dry um, so there's the oh it's like it must have gotten water and it look at it, it's wet it's rusty um, so I don't know if this is good anymore it may clean up just fine, grease it, and it may work again, but this is like completely dry. Any grease that's in there is, is all hardened. The one that I took out for the passenger side, this was all packed with grease still, but it was like uh, hard, but this is like dry. Um, so what I did was I used uh, John Deere double, it's like double zero uh, leveling, self-leveling grease, corn head grease. I use it in the um, uh, steering box of the, of the 49 GMC as another video on that. But uh, basically what it means it is, is it'll spread itself all around in there and then it'll eventually settle down on the bottom again and then it'll spread itself. Um, it's basically like it's self-leveling. It goes back so it doesn't all stick in one place. Um, so hopefully this works. I did find a place that sells these motors. I may need to get a new one, but we'll see. I'll keep you posted. Thanks. Bye.